From the very beginning, 60 years ago, group health has been unique. The founders blazed a path that changed how healthcare is delivered. The fundamental innovation was to redefine the relationship between patient and physician by integrating care with prepaid coverage. The early days were volatile and exciting. Group Health's founders were idealists who believed in social reform and the dream of affordable health care for everyone. At the heart of our success is our dedicated members who actively participate in governing the organization. It was a revolutionary approach in 1947, but our history shows it was just the first of many innovations we would introduce. We were one of the first providers to establish wellness programs, which recognized that prevention could reduce many health risks. We led the industry by providing mental health care and coverage. Our creation of the Telephone Consulting Nurse Service was years ahead of its time. Our groundbreaking research in head trauma was a catalyst for the adoption of mandatory bike helmet laws nationwide. Over the years, group health researchers have studied tobacco cessation, cancer screening, obesity, women's issues, and many more health issues that impact everyone. It's um, been kind of incredible how it has grown and how uh, that those basic attitudes have been preserved. And I think how proud some of the funding people would be if they were still here. When Sarah was born, there was, all I can say, a very nightmarish quality to it because when you have a child that's born with serious, life-threatening medical problems, it, your life is turned upside down. Her stomach actually connected to her trachea and the minute she was born, her stomach contents were coming through her lungs and she needed a TE fistula repair the day after she was born. And it didn't stop after her first surgery. She ended up going back to have open heart surgery when she was 15 months old because they discovered she had a hole in her heart. So this was just the beginning. The saddest part for me was when she didn't understand what her problem was. And she would say, Mommy, why can't I do these other things that other kids can do. Annabelle was diagnosed with amblyopia strabismus. What would happen if you, if you didn't have the corrective surgery is that she would actually go blind. And for a parent, that's probably one of the most scary things to think about is, is that your, your young child, and in our case, our first child, uh, was going to have to go into the hospital and, and have a surgical procedure done. One of the things that the doctors uh, and the other people involved with this that were working on, on it were very cognizant of doing, I think, was anticipating this. And they've really found a great way, I think, to, to really make sure to uh, allay that concern. To empower ordinary people to create a medical system to serve them is a remarkable phenomenon. Group health allows you to, you know, get that continuity of care. Um, instead of just your provider and you, it's your provider and you and multiple other people making sure that your health and your health care is being provided for. I really feel like we're a team. We're brought together as a team and, and the, the doctor or the, uh, the nurse is more like your coach. I felt that they responded. They got me through it. They encouraged me. My understanding and my experience of group health is that the patient is at the center and it is the commitment of the staff to the concept of the patient being at the center of care. They're focused on keeping the patient well and treating the patient appropriately. And that's what makes it great. I hope they always keep the standards that they started with. I mean, they started with a group of people who felt that there was something lacking in health care. And part of that was this caring and compassion. My experience with Group Health has always been that they listen and respond. We're proactively looking at patients and their disease states to say, hey, you maybe need to be on these medications to help prevent problems versus a knee-jerk reaction of now you have problems, now we need to treat you. 
It's really about what it is you expect from this today, what it is we can help you with versus this is what I want you to do. This team approach makes me feel um, like I have a part and I have a say in where, what direction I'm taking and what choices I have in uh, taking care of myself and in maintaining my health. And I think Group Health feels a, a very talented and skilled team in uh, offering me those choices and providing me good advice. It isn't about a doctor telling a, a patient what they need to do. It's about a doctor informing a patient about what their options are. And both doctor and patient coming together with uh, what they think is the best option for, for that particular patient. Group Health has done a really great job of breaking down the walls between the patient and the healthcare provider and the, the customer service folks. And it's also, I think, helped, helped me and my family get more proactive about our healthcare. I think that consumer-driven governance, which is at the heart of Group Health, is really one of its major strengths compared to other health plans and other healthcare providers. And I think that Group Health is well positioned to take advantage of the way we provide our medicine. I really feel that Group Health, there's an element of trust with Group Health that does not exist with other healthcare providers. For the last 60 years, Group Health has brought new ideas to healthcare through patients, physicians, and purchasers working together. Innovation is the hallmark of Group Health. I think one of the great uh, innovations at Group Health has been My Group Health, which to me is a phenomenal opportunity for interactive healthcare. The blending of the web-based technologies and the consulting nurses and um, the, the email from the doctors that you can get and being able to have access to the doctors and the providers, I think it's a phenomenal advance. Group Health has this great mission. It's about transforming healthcare. We believe that part of our mission is not only improving health and healthcare for our own consumers and assuring that they get high quality care and that they get the best possible experience within Group Health, but we have a real commitment to health and healthcare for the broader community and including the nation. So if you think about our purpose to transform healthcare, um, that gives you a great deal of freedom to think about the interaction you have with patients day to day and how you can make that better. And to me, that's innovation. I'm very proud to work at Group Health because I'm part of something big. I'm part of something that's happening and something that's probably going to continue to happen for the next 60 years. I'm very excited about the future. I think Group Health is getting stronger uh, and uh, much more relevant in terms of, of health and health care. And what we can do to really contribute to trends in health care, improving health care, that's why I'm involved. I became a nurse to make a difference in people's lives. And I became a nurse at Group Health because I had the opportunity to, to make a difference in people's lives by combining clinical practice with leadership. It's a valuable place here, and it's important that we keep preserving it, protecting it, and advancing it. This is a cause worth working on. I think that Group Health was responsible for the fact that she, she's able to read now, she's able to see and appreciate and do things that without this she, she would have, have probably gone blind. They are the leaders. They, I trust Group Health. I trust that they will change with the times and I'm sure there'll be new wonderful things that uh, happen as a result of the leadership at Group Health. I'm happy to say she celebrated her 21st birthday and is in great health. I really credit Group Health with that.